got a lot better. Okay, so this story called Say You're Sorry. Which a major part of treatment is getting the kids to own up to what they've done and what they do. I've been, um, seeing them around. I know you've been seeing them around. Saying bad words and beating people up. So we do a lot of education on what it's like to be a victim, why it's not okay to do that, how other people feel. Oh, someone pushes someone on the basketball Lord. court, we'll stop that and we'll say not only you can't do that, but let's think about how it's all for the other person. Right. This program costs the state of Massachusetts $64,000 a year per child. About a third of that goes to staff, one residential counselor for every two children. That's what it takes to care for and treat these children. And treating them early is key. The likelihood of they getting involved with the criminal justice system, if you wait until they're teenagers, is much more and much higher. Betty Rollin, NBC News, Everyone's Springfield, here. Massachusetts. In Venezuela, heavy rains have caused massive flooding and damage. Intense rain has hammered the area about 250 miles southeast of the capital of Caracas. Roads and bridges along the Chama River were devastated. Hundreds of residents have been evacuated from the area. In this country, the Midwest has also been hammered by heavy rains. Let's check in with Nightside Jerry Brown to see if residents there will see any relief. Well, good morning. Let's take a look at today's weather, and it's going to be a pretty nice day of it across the northeast. Some showers and thunder showers northern New England exiting toward the Maritimes. Oh, but from Boston down through New York, Philadelphia, Washington, and Baltimore, pretty nice day of it with a mix of sun and clouds and generally pleasant conditions. Heat and humidity on, though, on the other side of this frontal system through Texas into Oklahoma and Missouri up to Iowa noticeable humidity showers and thunderstorms anywhere along this front of the afternoon variety across the southeast and that front will be making a move out toward chicago and milwaukee late in the day behind the front drier cooler air lots of sunshine throughout the west really going to be a nice day at 70s up in the pacific northwest to the 100s really sweltering down in the desert southwest heat and humidity on across the southeast from florida through texas in two parts of eastern New Mexico, 70s over the eastern lakes into northern New England in the 80s from southern New England down through the mid-Atlantic. Have yourself a great day. I'm Jerry Brown for NBC Nightside. 81 years after the Titanic set sail for America, treasures from the luxury liner have finally made it to U.S. shores. On Tuesday, an American French salvage team brought back relics, including the ship's whistles, metal soap racks, and glassware. The wreckage was discovered 400 miles off the coast of Newfoundland. Stay with us. We call the line. I call the line. Dial 1-800-347-DOLL and join me on the party. Live, exciting conversation with beautiful, interesting gals from all over America. The party line. It's better than ever before. You always have a friend to talk to when you call 1-800-347-DOLL. Only $2 per minute. Adult only in major U.S. cities, but foreign tourists often are unaware that they could be the target of crime and racism. In several recent cases, they have been beaten, run over, even set on fire. Now in Miami, tourists can protect themselves with a special new map. It tells them how to avoid areas prone to violent crime. Kerry Sanders has the story. This map is strictly statistics. These colors are just as much a surprise to me as they are to everybody else. To David Arthur, it was a simple idea. The South Florida paramedics decided to sell a map to tourists, telling them where violent crimes happen. Basically, areas to avoid. When it gets to the point where they plunge in a mother to death in front of her children, and then run over her head so her head explodes underneath the car in front of the children, that's absurd. He's talking about one of the worst attacks on tourists in South Florida history. In April, German tourist Barbara Jensen Miller was killed in front of her children after getting lost on her way to Miami Beach. I don't think this kind of map would have made any kind of difference to, in the case of Barbara Jensen Miller. Uh, it was a terrible tragedy and she got lost because she didn't understand our ro roadway. Some businessmen who shutter their stores in the high crime areas say they will hand out the map for free. Hopefully maybe people get upset about it. Maybe people start doing something, especially our government, to make our streets safer. Among the
the areas the map suggests you avoid, one block off famed Ocean Drive on Miami's South Beach. There is crime on the street, but it's uh, minimal, so I have to say uh, I don't agree with it. Other areas the map colors in rose are some predominantly black neighborhoods like Overtown. Community leaders call it redlining. You're putting up areas, you're identifying these areas, they don't go in there for any reason. That's, that's redlining. Stay out. That was Kerry Sanders reporting. We'll be right back. David's Bridal Warehouse, the nation's largest bridal retailer, celebrates the grand opening of its newest bridal warehouses in Carl Place and Union. Only at David's Bridal Warehouse will you find over 3,000 designer gowns, sizes 2 to 24, all in stock at huge savings. You'll save hundreds of dollars on the gown of your dreams. Don't wait months for your gown. It's here waiting for you. Buy it today and take it away. We're open Monday through Friday, 11 to 9, Saturday, 10 to 6, and Sunday, 11 to 5. Come to the new David's Bridal Warehouse, where dreams last forever. I'll never forget. years I've been wishing I'd swung at that pitch. Hit or miss, at least I'd have given it a shot. So if you're a guy who wants to find out more about Rogaine with minoxidil, whether it's for you, don't just stand there with a bat on your shoulder. Find out about it. To find out about Rogaine topical solution, call 1-800-759-4900 and Upjohn will send you an informative brochure about Rogaine. And because only a doctor can prescribe Rogaine, they'll even send you a list of local doctors who can help you decide about it. If you'd like to find out more about Rogaine with minoxidil, don't stand there with the bat on your shoulder. <clears throat> Make the call now. On the next Maury, man's best friend is getting a little out of hand. Why do you like the dog more than you like the wife? Even after making love, he prefers the dog. He gets rid of me right away and then goes back to the dog. They could be in for a pet custody battle, like this man who spent $50,000 to get Aston. Bob's former wife has no visitation rights. Is the whole world going to the dog on the next Mari Povich show? Tomorrow at 3, only on WNBC for New York. If your mailbox always seems to be stuffed with junk mail and bills, imagine if you lived at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. The White House handles enough mail each day to fill two trucks. Question is, how do they answer it all? Well, NBC's Jim Mikulaszewski takes us inside the White House mailroom. Twice each day, it comes in by the truckload. Sacks and sacks of the stuff. 38 to 55,000 cards and letters each day. President Clinton is the man Americans love to write. We've gotten more mail than any other president, uh, and we're going to break all records in our first year. Half of it's called propaganda mail, organized campaigns for one cause or another. And it's creative, like the teddy bear campaign to protest oil drilling in the wild, or the two-by-fours inscribed to be used on stubborn mules or stubborn presidents. <laughs> Scores of volunteers read each personal letter. They're categorized, coded, and computed, then routed to the proper department for a response. And what's today's hot issue? I think that right now the hottest topics are um, gays in the military. Uh, gays in the military. I'm gays in the military. That one gets a form letter signed Bill Clinton by Autopen. This Daily Mail can spot coming political trends. But much of the mail is personal. That way. They feel that he cares and they feel that they, he wants to know what they think. And so they let him know. Somehow, Bill Clinton connects. For good or bad, pro or con, he's someone Americans think they can talk to. Or better yet, someone who they think will listen. Jim McLeshevsky, NBC News, the White House. I wonder what they do with all the boards and bears and things. No, do they do? <laughs> Maybe with the boards, they give them to the president. That's... Could be. <laughs> uh, this is NBC Nights out of production of NBC News Channel, Charlotte, North Carolina.